The sergeants on my journeys number many, and on my travels would I ever give a penny to poor souls to hear their stories told, quite often starkly stirring despite their being old. One was told me of a mountain, more a hill, that lost his lover long ago, yet still, from out its crumbling face it wept, and soggied all its tree-built beard unkept. The tilled groves below the people knew were well drenched by his sadness too. The wiser folk warned of the mountain spring, but so named melancholies ignored everything. They swallowed water far surpassed their thirst, and limply floated in the fount face first. All of them by daylight sung and cried, but moaned and screamed at night time's noose hung bride. The wiser folk heard these on the breeze, and spied far lanterns wander through the trees. Then after days passed without nary sound nor sight, they feared the melancholy's victims of some ghastly plight. A group gathered to travel to the wood, to find the errant melancholies if they could. Their houses had no food, though every cup held water, green and cold, the walls and floorboards all scratched up. The distraught village folk then found some recent tracks. They followed footprints, shoes, belts, discarded packs. The dark, dense trees huddled round the trails, and chilly winds muffled distant heady screams and manic wails. The sun was low and yonder tracks had stopped, where it was flat and mossy rocks outcropped. A broad and subtle alcove was this place, there the group found, strewn about the space, more clothes and boots and trinkets everywhere, amid matted tufts, what looked like human hair. The villagers all shuddered, but pushed still further on, past the telltale wares, whose owners were long gone. The rocks next flattened all about a pool, tear-shaped and still the water, green and cool. On the dimly glinting water's edge, a cup, low, multitudes were there, without a sup. The water's source leaked out the alcove's back, Horizontal and curved downward was the crack. On the split, in dark clay drawn, an eye, T'was closed and sad, the water did it cry. The searching party was dismayed, but still, Called out, then cast up and down the hill, Where night, when they regrouped around the source, With no one found to make their downward course. The icy winds then pushed aside the shroud Of a dank and white cold, blinding, foggy cloud, Unveiling the night bride hanging suspended in the air, who lit the scene on high with rays like glass green hair. As the village folk headed fast back onto the trails, through trees that still echoed others' long still wails, they found the melancholy people who had gone, naked, nooses round their necks, shriveled, hanged, and wan. It's said they felt the sadness in the mountains cry. His lover couldn't reach him, and so he sought to die. The feelings of his tragedy, this does the people stir. So they brought themselves to him as effigies of her.